University student, Calgary students, are traveling to Lisbon, Portugal to complete the biggest school project of any Canadian university engineering student has ever undertaken. And UFC professor Janaka Ruanpura joins us to explain. So tell us about the project. Yeah, this is actually the largest project, residential project in Europe right now. It's overall 300 hectares in size. It started in 1990. Yeah. It's going to finish in 2015. So we took uh, this project uh, about, I think, this is about 15 hectares in this area called yeah. Area 5, which our students are designing. And this, this here is going to be a residential area in Lisbon? Actually, it's not only totally residential. This is a sh earlier, this was five shanty towns okay. converted into a social housing and, and sort of a little bit of a higher level housing. Yeah. Plus, we have some housing complexes here and there is uh, offices, hotel, some parks, cultural centers, shopping malls, and a massive parking lot for about 5,000 car stalls wow. in how, this area. How did the U of C get involved? Um, we have uh, uh, one of U of C senators, Joe Leon. He's a local businessman. Yeah. Um, he actually had a discussion with uh, the Dean of Engineering, Dr. Chan Virasingha, mm -hmm. and that's how this, this thing started. And then our head of, head of the department, Tom Brown, went to Lisbon in last summer and he looked at it and he thought this is an ideal project for our students. And what are your students, are they designing it or they, what are they, they doing? They actually design. Um, we, it's like a, a little consortium, mm -hmm. a consultancy consortium. 60 students we divided into two. So they looked at uh, structural engineering components, uh, transportation issue. They actually designed the entire transportation network. And then also they, they brought some innovative, some environmental uh, things into Lisbon. Yeah. Uh, that's another one. And there's a geotechnical group and also project management. Um, so lots that of different things. Lots of different things. And how is urban renewal different in Lisbon, say, than in Calgary? I think I would answer that one in a way. Do we have shanty towns in Canada? We don't. Because right. we probably actually we take a bare piece of land and then develop that. Yeah. But this is where the people were there. So you, you have to provide the services to the people and also bring it to a better lifestyle. So in that sense, it's a, it's a yeah. different challenge than... So than people were living right here in shanty towns? Yeah, they were living... And somewhere. where do they, where are they now? They, they actually are located in a, another part where like basically there are some good condos for, you know, so that they can yeah. sell yeah. To, for higher, higher, higher to purposes. Make some money. Yeah. Yeah. But in the other area, which actually this is only a, a small portion, yeah. But the rest of the areas, actually, they have their houses. And how does this help universities or UFC students? Quite a bit. Uh, Calgary is the engineering capital of Canada. Mm -hmm. So a lot of consultancy companies, engineering companies get uh, projects overseas. So we managed to actually give the training to the students mm. during our program. So any international project that they will do under those companies will definitely be benefited so that they understand uh, the challenges that the students had, had to face. Because they've already been there. They've already gone through one of those. Even things like language make a difference? Well, we, we got almost everything except two or three documents in Portuguese. So, Is that right? Yeah, so we, we have a translator that he translated into uh, English. Isn't that great? Hopefully, Well, uh, good for you guys. Yeah. How do you like Lewis's painting back here? It's perfect. Isn't this great? Lewis started this 